So I've heard in more than one place recently that you can no longer stream radio stations using iTunes. But this just isn't true. The current version of iTunes in macOS Mojave, version 12.9.2.5, still has this functionality. It's never gone away. But you do have to go and look for it. So to give you a heads up if you're not familiar with this, you can stream actual radio stations like real radio stations that are broadcasting in cities around the world. Some that don't actually even broadcast. They only stream online. So these are real streams with real people talking on the other end, playing music, that kind of thing. This isn't the kind of streaming like with Pandora where songs are played specifically for you. This, these are actual radio stations. And iTunes has always had this functionality built into it. So here's how you find it in the current version of iTunes. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're looking at music. You have the ability to switch between music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, audiobooks. So you want to make sure you're in music. You can also go to View, Media, Kind, Music and it takes you there. Once you're in music you want to go to Library. You'll see things like For You and Browse which apply to Apple Music. You'll see Radio which is something that's also part of Apple Music and it's kind of misleading. It's not what you're looking for in the case of streaming radio stations. And the store for buying things. But you want to be at Library. When you're at Library look on the left here and you're going to see uh, under Library a list of things. And this is where you will normally find the Internet radio stations except it's not there. But if you move your cursor over where it says Library at the top, click Edit, you see you can customize this. So for instance if I didn't want to see genres there I can get rid of genres. One of the things I can add is Internet Radio. So I'm going to add that and click Done. Now that I have that added I can click Internet Radio and you can see the familiar list here which has been around on iTunes forever. So you can now go by genre here and see different uh, types of radio stations from around the world. So for instance if you want to listen to uh, just classic rock here you can open this up and you can see all these different classic rock radio stations. Click on one and it will start streaming live and you will be able to listen to it. So there are tons of these different radio stations in here. Uh, so you can have a lot of fun playing around. It's a great way to discover music that you may not discover just poking around in Apple Music uh, by yourself or looking at a record store. So you can go through all of this. If you find a radio station that you like, uh, let's just take the very first one here, you can drag it over to the left sidebar and add it. And now you can actually click there instead of having to go out and find it again. Now you can also, I'm going to control click here and, and delete it from the left sidebar there. Um, you can also go and find your own. So if you go to a website for a radio station, if they have a streaming component, usually they list it on the radio station. Now today radio station websites are pretty comprehensive and there's all sorts of things. Like for this one for a local station here, uh, there's tons of ways you can listen to. There's podcasts, links, there's apps, everything. But sure enough if I look closely enough I do find a link for streaming. and I could see streaming here. I could see there are several different streams. Obviously Windows Media Player is not what I want. Uh, the built in site player will allow me to listen on the web here. But I could see two here that will most likely work with iTunes. Matter of fact it even says here iTunes for the MP3 stream. And uh, it has a higher quality one as well. So I'm going to go and do that. Now I can click Listen and it's going to download a file. I could also Control click on it and copy the link the file. So either one. So let's hide that there. Now if I wanted to actually stream the station I have a couple options now. One is I can go into Downloads, find that file there and you can see it even has an iTunes icon on it. I click it and it will start streaming that station. I could also go and open it. So I can Open Stream under File, Open Stream and I could paste that URL, the one that I just copied by Control clicking and it will do the same thing. So you have those options. If you want that radio station to be more readily available to you you can drag and drop it to the left sidebar as showed before and you can click it there. So that's how you can listen to Internet streaming radio from around the world using the iTunes app on your Mac.